Yo, what's up guys? I'm here with my good friend Julian Thomas. Julian Thomas, why don't you what's introduce on, yourself? Well, I'm a fitness transformation coach. I help powerful young men get ripped and uh, without giving up their lifestyle, living it, leading an active social life and uh, eating a lot of foods that they enjoy eating. Pretty much Julian makes you into the Terminator, literally. Like this dude is built like a fucking brick house. So we're gonna do a little bit of role reversal today. Julian will be educating you. I'm gonna be behind the camera asking the questions. So here we go. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. All right, Julian. So, you know, your, your clients I would say are like high powered entrepreneurs, executives, yep. and you work with them on a day to day basis. What would you say is the number one question you get asked? Number one question I get asked. That's a good question. Um, there's always a multitude of questions. I mean, it, it revolves around like, what's the best exercise? What's the best supplements? What's the best way of eating? And underneath it all, I mean, it's a lot easier than you think. I mean, just like Amir is always schooling me on, you know, business is a lot easier than I make it out to be. Overthinking things, you know, when it comes down to following this certain set of principles, you're gonna get ripped. If that's your goal, to get ripped, there's certain key metrics you need to be tracking, absolutely. You know, revolving around how many, how much food are you taking and how much calories are you using, or how much calories are you consuming. And making sure you're making continuous progress in your strength training. I mean, you need to be focusing on two main things if your goal is to get ripped, all right? You need to be focusing on maintaining your muscle, and you do that by focusing on strength training. And the second thing is you need to be focused on shredding off fat, which comes from lowering or controlling your calorie intake and you do that by tracking it. So let me ask you this though, why should entrepreneurs and executives really give a shit about how like how lean they are? Well it just, man, you got your shit together in so many areas. I mean I'm assuming most of Amir's, you know, followers are powerful entrepreneurs or at least aspiring to be, myself included. Well you got your shit together in so many areas, why don't you have an amazing body to go with that? Why aren't you crushing it in the gym and being physically strong. I mean, you are a powerful man. Powerful men should be physically strong. Must be, not Must should. And living up to your highest potential in the physical arena as well. And having a lean body just implies that you have your shit together with health and you're not just eating random bullshit all the time. See? Obviously, this also leads to the fact that if you have a a lean body, you have more energy in your life. Well, that's very true. And it's not about the, how much time you have, it's about how much energy you have in that time. I can give you six hours and you stare at the computer going, yeah, but if I can give you two hours and you have that optimal energy, you can get more done in two hours than if I give somebody else something for six hours. Mm. I could get you ripped in two or three hours of training a week. The rest of it That's is up good. to you. Okay, the rest of it is up to you. I mean, my strength training is very simple. It's just a few key lifts. So let's talk about your, you know, let's not overcomplicate something. Give us your top three suggestions or like master tips that someone can implement like today right now. I would give the three components my program is based around. One is your mental programming, okay? You have to really, really, this is very overlooked in a lot of fitness programs. You need to start training your mind to be the person you want to become. Okay, so the first component of my program is actually mental programming. So I have you visualize exactly who you want to become, right? And affirm that every day, every day. And that's gonna slowly guide your behavior, You're getting into your unconscious, subconscious mind and, uh, and the nature of that. Second thing is metrics, okay? Food intake, tracking this stuff. You don't have to, you know, stay away from foods you love. I'm not super dogmatic like that. But so we can have cheesecake every day? If you wanted to, and you can afford <laughs> it in your calorie budget. I call it a calorie budget. That's good. So a certain amount of energy or, or calories are allotted every day. You'll find that some foods... So you don't focus on macros and micros? Well, macros, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. But th there's certain ways of eating, certain food choices you make that would make your diet a lot easier. So if you go with junk food, you're going to be hungry most of the time if you don't want to risk blowing your calorie budget. Versus if you focus on whole foods, diet will be a lot easier. Uh, the third component is strength training, you know, strategic training. So what are the key lifts to do? What are the key things to focus on? What's the training strategy? You know, I mean, if you're trying to get ripped and you're doing a lot of arms, high reps, 
not only are you gonna make your diet a lot harder, but you're not gonna get the lasting results, sustainable results you want. Because ideally you wanna to get to a body you're happy with and just do the minimum effect. So let me ask you this, if you're stuck on an island, what equipment, and you're only allowed to bring, say, one or two piece of equipment, what would you bring? Power cage, but with barbell weights. Sure, we'll include that, we'll, we'll include that in there. <laughs> All right. So those three things, power cage, barbell, bench, and a weight set. So I'm, I'm assuming you that you're a big fan of the squat, the deadlift, and overhead press. Good question. I myself don't squat. Blasphemy, this interview is over. <laughs> I like deadlifts, deadlifts is a good full body exercise. Um, squats, I mean for me, squats are a preference. Um, flat bench press is a preference. But you're not against squats. I'm not against them, I just don't want a thick lower body. Sure. I like it aesthetic, I need to be mobile, I, you know, I play volleyball, I do a lot yeah, But with the guys with skinny legs, man, I mean, squats come in handy. Up, yeah, yeah, squats are great to thicken up your legs, but really at the end of the day, is, is, are you happy with it, right? Are, are you gonna be happy with thick legs? Are you gonna be happy with a 30, inch waist and they can't fit into any jeans. So you have to get 34, 36. You said, I mean, these are things that you have to think about if you're trying to just get big by any means and you're following a coach that recommends high volume training, lots of lower body, focusing on the number on the scale versus how you actually feel and how you actually look, right? What I train my students in is an aesthetic look. So right? give us like a rundown on a diet plan and an exercise regimen for a week. Okay, you're not eating for the first several hours of your day. You okay? must be crazy. Intermittent <laughs> fasting is one of the most powerful, powerful methods to get shredded quickly. It's it is, I love it. And it's very, very uh, complementary to most entrepreneur lifestyles, right? Which is go, 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 hectic. Uh, the second thing, I mean, there's two routes you can take. You can pre-plan your meals, which I do for some of them or you can go, which is a much more pragmatic approach, which is flexible dieting. So in other words, you're eating on the go, but you're tracking it, and you're making sure you're not blowing your calorie budget for the day. Right? So explain that calorie budget. So what do you mean, like if I'm allow, allocated 2,500 per day or something? So there's a certain number that, a number of calories that if you took in every day based on you know your height, your weight, uh, and your activity level that would just maintain, that, that number would just maintain your weight, okay? So what we do, or what we wanna do, what I'll get you to do, right, taking my program, is to calculate that number and then you're gonna shave a certain percentage off. Usually go with 20, that's moderate. So in doing so, and sticking to that new number, that new level, right, your body has to release energy to make up the difference between how much you're actually taking in and what maintaining would be. So in that release, you lose fat because fat is the stored energy that's being released. So do you gradually decrease calories or is like, for example, let's say we find out it's uh, 3,000 you take, then you said 20%, it'll be 2,800. So is it for like the first month, 2,800, then the next month would be 26? Be more like, I mean, maintenance for me, based on my activity level, would probably be around 25, 2,600. Yeah. If I want to bulk, I would go up to 28, 3,000, right? If I want to get shredded, I would go down to 18 or 17. So let me ask you this, what's your take on all these different camps out there? The low carbs, high carbs, keto, all, those, great question. all, all those guys. I've had experience with just about every way of eating possible. At the what about the what day. about uh, the seafood diet? Heard that one? Seafood diet. Yeah, I see and I eat it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, guys. At the end of the day, what is enjoyable, aka sustainable for you, right? And what will get you the results without you hating yourself, or hating your life, right? For me, ketogenic works for a lot of people. I don't like it. That's a tough right. diet, man. I, try, I tried it for a year, you know? yeah. and it's tough. Yeah, so, um, you know, low carb, with, which is, I mean, it's effective, but my favorite foods involve carbs, and I'm sure yours do too. So we have to find something else. Now I tried carb backloading, which is eating carbs at, you know, the end of the day. I tried all these different things. What, what I found that suits well with my lifestyle is a little bit of flexible dieting, right? But I track everything I eat. Right, because I'm on the go a lot. I can't bring meals with me everywhere. Uh, fasting, so there's a period of deliberately not eating. Okay, Just by so that alone, you reduce calories. 
That alone, yeah, it can help. Because you can eliminate one, you eliminate one meal though. You can, but it also allows you to have bigger meals when you do eat, which is a lot eat more like a boss. You know, so it's a lot more satiating. So I'm not a big fan of like the six meals a day thing. Um, what do you, what's your take on one meal? Sometimes I have one meal a day, but it's a boss meal. Well, again, I mean, it's like literally all my calories, yeah, yeah. and it's at lunch, because I won't. Sometimes it all depends on how I feel, and I would literally eat like probably like three thousand calories in one sitting. Yeah, so like the warrior diet. Okay? Exactly. Like day, exactly. Right? Yeah. If it's enjoyable and it works for you, that's what I recommend. Yeah. Okay. Three pounds of fish. So I teach. I mean, if you go to my website, JulianThomas.fitness, you can see. You know, I have a look. I have that look, that ripped look, and I. Teach. You should just show them the look, man. <laughs> I teach what works for me. He's being what, modest. He's shy. What I've discovered over the years that really works for me, okay, and that's it. That's it. So I mean, if it goes well with you, if it gels well, and I find that it's, it's been very effective for my clients, and they happen to be mostly entrepreneurs and executives, and if it works for you, great. It, it works for them, um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to take some trial and error to really find what works best for you. But most of them, there's about all of them, you need to track those key metrics. Track how much you're eating if you're trying to get shredded. If you're trying to build your business and you're not focusing on numbers, you know, Amir will tell you you're not gonna get anywhere, right? KPIs, baby. Right? So if you're trying to get shredded or even bulk up, if you're not tracking numbers, you're just playing a guessing game. That's it. That's a big takeaway for the for this message, I think. Sweet, yeah. awesome. Turn this around right now. So we get in frame. All right, guys, you heard it from Julian, the Terminator right here. Track your stuff, track your food, try some IF, try low carb, try paleo, try whatever. Each person is unique. You know, for example, myself, um, I like kind of seasonal, but then again, I'm kind of more in the low carb. It just, for me, I notice anything higher carb, I just don't feel good. Mm. As simple as that. Mm. But then again, you know, I'm not a stickler. If I'm out for a dinner with some friends and colleagues or business partners, man, I'm going to have some fucking fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. And gorge out on all different sorts of food. I think too, too many people make food a religion. Yeah. It's not a religion. It should be fun. That's what food is. Breaking bread is fun. It's an enjoyment. You should be happy doing it. So figure out what works for you. All right, Julian. I know a lot of people, they want to know how they can get a hold of you, my friend. Uh, check out julianthomas.fitness. That's my website right now, and uh, you can sign up to my email list. And I send out different. Uh, I send out about an email every week on this kind of topics, and just revolve all around getting shredded. Especially if you're a powerful, ambitious man, I'm gonna help you. I'm here to help. Do it. All right, guys. Catch you guys later. Adios. Peace. Yeah.